This is why we came here, was for that hope that they would be able to help her. We found out we were expecting this was going to be our last baby. We had four other kids. Even though it was my fifth, you're still concerned and still hold your breath through each and every ultrasound. The tech had said that there was a large mass and it's coming off of her tailbone area. They said it was about the size of the baby. Our OB sat down with us and explained to us what it was and that most likely, because of how vascular blood-filled the tumor was, that she would have less than a 10% chance of surviving. You know, we were just kind of in a state of shock, honestly, not really knowing how to respond. My OB continued to help find doctors that knew anything about this. It was actually Texas Children's that called us and said, your OB and another specialist called and told us about your situation. For the first time, we at least knew that, that good or bad outcome, we were in a place that they were going to walk us through the whole thing. So we thought, OK, if there's any place that it could happen, you know, this would be the place. They said, we're going to pull together a big team meeting. I think there was 30 specialists. They let us know afterwards. They said it was a unanimous decision by every single specialist here that that she would be a candidate for fetal surgery and uh, probably the one of the things that brings me the most uh, comfort and that meant so much to me during that time was as sick as she was in 25 being a 25 week baby that they saw her life worth fighting for they said, you have till tomorrow noon. We need to know if you want to move forward. And we just felt like we can't say no to her. And so we said, yeah, well, let's do it. I knew it was going to be a long surgery. We had talked to the doctors beforehand and just kind of went down the list and said, you know, if she doesn't, we, we said we didn't want her to suffer more. If it doesn't look like she's going to make it, just hold her and just tell her we love her and that we fought for her. We didn't know. You know, they gave updates throughout the whole time, and all those came back real positive. One of the big ones they were looking for was the, the moment they took the, the tumor off, they wanted to see how her heart responded. That was a, a huge step in, the, in that side as well. They're bringing her back into the recovery room and she just looked up and she said, and she didn't ask anything else, she just said, you know, is, is Macy okay? Did she make it? And then she immediately just, you know, fell right back asleep. At week 35, she was born. She was doing great. Just a very sweet day. <laughs> She's beautiful, beautiful, perfect. Hi, I'm Macy. If we didn't tell people mm -hmm. the story, they would never, they wouldn't have a clue. There's just no evidence apart from the scar that reminds you that she's gone through anything of that nature. It's just incredible. If there's a little mark there, I'm, I'm not bothered at all by that because I feel it's a gift. You know, it saved her life, and um, not everyone gets that. Hmm. And so we are so just humbled and so thankful for the team that was around us and to walk us through this whole process. Very thankful.